Let's get right into it. Number 7. The Great Oxygen Heist. You breathe in, you breathe out. Simple, right? That crisp, life-giving air we all take for granted? The stuff that keeps your internal biochemistry from turning into chunky applesauce is getting sneakier. We spend all our time worrying about carbon, which is, admittedly, a bit of a show-off. But what about the silent disappearance act of oxygen? Specifically, we're talking about the ocean's dissolved oxygen, which is currently being ghosted by rising sea temperatures. Think of the ocean like a giant ice-cold soda. The colder it is, the more fizz it can hold. Now, crank the temperature up, and suddenly that soda goes flat. The oxygen molecules simply don't stick around. This process is creating massive dead zones, or ocean oxygen minimum zones, which are basically underwater deserts where fish, crabs, and anything else with lungs literally suffocate. These zones have expanded by over 1.7 million square miles globally since 1950. So, while you're enjoying your air-conditioned living room, entire underwater cities are being silently emptied out because the water decided to stop holding its breath for them. Basically, the ocean is getting a little too warm and refusing to share its air supply. Number 6. Earth's Lopsided Spin Your entire life you've been told the Earth spins perfectly, like a pristine, well-balanced basketball. Lies. The planet's rotation is not a neat, tidy waltz. It's more like a drunk wobble that keeps getting worse. And it's all your fault. We're talking about the polar drift, the slight, ceaseless shift in the Earth's axis of rotation relative to its crust. For decades, it was a slow, gentle meander driven by deep geological processes. But in the 1990s, scientists noticed the direction and speed changed. The axis started sprinting eastward, and the new culprit is the aggressive, rapid melting of ice sheets, primarily in Greenland. Picture a figure skater doing a spin. If they suddenly lose a massive chunk of their arms, their entire center of gravity goes haywire. That's us, except the skater is the Earth, and the lost arms are millions of tons of polar ice being redistributed as liquid water. This change in mass distribution is enough to physically pull the entire planet's axis of rotation off kilter. The shift is only a few inches a year, so don't worry about falling off, but it's a terrifyingly tangible way of showing how much mass we've liquidated from the poles. You are, quite literally, tilting the earth. Number 5. Deep Sea Microplastic Burial You see the pictures of plastic bottles floating on the surface, but the true plastic apocalypse is happening in the pitch-black depths. Plastic doesn't just hang around on the surface. It eventually breaks down into microplastics and, crucially, becomes colonized by microbes and algae, making it dense enough to sink. The deep ocean floor is quietly becoming the planet's largest landfill, burying trillions of these tiny plastic fragments in the sediment. This is fundamentally altering the deep sea ecosystem. The benthic organisms, the critters that live on or near the seabed, are ingesting these particles which disrupts their feeding and reproductive cycles. More insidiously, this deep-sea burial removes the plastic from sight, giving us a dangerous, false sense of progress on surface cleanup. We are fundamentally changing the geology of the deep ocean, creating a new, synthetic, sedimentary layer that will be the defining geological signature of the human era. Number 4. Global Dimming's Sneaky Comeback You've heard of global warming, but have you heard of its moody, protective older sibling, global dimming? For a long time, the massive pollution we pumped into the atmosphere, the sulfates and aerosols that make city air taste like a dirty penny, was actually shielding us, inadvertently. These tiny particles acted like a massive, imperfect sun umbrella, reflecting some solar radiation back into space. It was a terrible silver lining to the cloud of industrial smog. Now, here's the problem. Thanks to cleaner air regulations, the dimming effect is diminishing. We're removing the umbrella, and the full, unfiltered power of the sun is hitting a planet that's already been marinating in CO2. Scientists call this the aerosol masking effect. When we suddenly clear up the air, the warming that was being suppressed comes roaring back to the forefront. It's like turning off a car's air conditioning only to realize the engine was overheating the whole time. In certain regions, the warming acceleration caused by this cleaning up is as significant as the warming caused by greenhouse gases. We literally need to balance our need to breathe clean air with the planet's reaction to losing its toxic sunblock. Number 3. The Planet's RPM Change You already know the Earth wobbles, 
But did you know it's also silently messing with its own rotational speed? The length of a day isn't perfectly static. It fluctuates. While tidal friction generally slows the Earth down over geologic time, sudden, dramatic shifts in mass distribution like massive ice melt or large earthquakes can cause tiny, measurable changes in the Earth's speed of rotation. The rapid melting of ice sheets, particularly Greenland, redistributes water away from the poles and toward the equator. This is similar to a figure skater extending their arms, it slows the spin slightly. However, other forces, like the slow, post-glacial rebound of land masses, can sometimes push the spin faster. The overall effect is minor, measured in milliseconds per year, but it's another silent, self-inflicted transformation showing that we're altering the planet's fundamental physics. We're literally making the Earth spin slightly differently. Number 2. The Shifting Cloud Chemistry Clouds. Fluffy, white, and perpetually misunderstood. You think they're just condensed water vapor, but their formation and behavior are governed by a complex, microscopic drama involving dust, bacteria, and cosmic rays. We are fundamentally altering the chemistry of cloud formation through one key, silent transformation, deforestation, and intensive agriculture. C. Clouds need something to condense onto. These are called cloud condensation nuclei, CCN. Over rainforests, the CCN are often organic aerosols released by the trees themselves. When you cut down the forest, you stop the supply of these natural aerosols. In some regions, this shift means clouds form differently. They might be less reflective, or they might rain less efficiently, which can exacerbate droughts. It's a feedback loop. Fewer trees mean fewer natural CCN, which changes the local weather pattern, which makes it harder for the few remaining trees to survive. The clouds above the earth are slowly becoming less natural and more a byproduct of our land management decisions, quietly altering the global water cycle in ways we can barely model. Number 1. The Unseen Microbial Uprising When you think of climate change, you think of big animals and big storms. You rarely think about the tiny organisms that run the planet, the microbes. Deep within the Arctic permafrost soil that has been frozen solid for thousands of years lies an apocalyptic carbon and methane reservoir, locked away beneath what looks like stable tundra. But as the planet warms, the permafrost melts, and these ancient microbes wake up. Their single-minded purpose? To consume the vast stores of dead plant matter they find there. Their waste product? Methane and CO2. Gases 25 to 80 times more potent than carbon dioxide over a short time frame. This is a terrifying example of a positive feedback loop. Warming causes melting. Melting wakes up the microbes. The microbes release greenhouse gases, and those gases cause more warming, leading to more melting. We're not in control of this one. It's an invisible microbial uprising that will continue to accelerate warming, even if we somehow manage to cut all our own emissions to zero tomorrow. Basically, the Earth's freezer is thawing, and the ancient, potent leftovers are starting to rot. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.